Welcome back to the channel, guys. So it's been a little bit, a little little minute since we've been here. So obviously we got Brian with Hasport here, and we got Aaron as well, which is you know VTech Academy videographer and editor and such. So you know if you've seen my video working on Niles's car, you'd seen that I did his diff mounts. We were prepping for the last track day with him and such. But I found that you know these diff mounts are kind of hidden uh, when they tear. And I, after doing some you know digging up there with the camera and a light, I was able to find that I got a pretty good tear on this driver's side one up top. So I talked to Brian, I was out here hanging out, saying hi one day, and uh, he needed some you know, intercooler welding, I needed some mounts, so we made a trade deal, and here we are. So we figured we'd film a video together, just slapping these diff mounts in really quick, just uh, you know, have some fun, so let's get into it. So we already got a head start here, we got the exhaust pulled off, uh, Brian just got the sway bar pulled off, and realistically all it is is those eight bolts, four there, four there, and then you just shimmy those out, and then you got two more, one right there, one right there. Not too bad. That is amazing. Tell them all. I had to ask you that for a short period of time. I have another one, but it's not in one piece. <laughs> the blue one out back? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got that one and I've got another one. I got oh, a shell out there. Yeah, the white and one. And I actually have one in San Francisco too. You really? Yeah. And the one in San Francisco is really cool because it's got a Roadster style windshield. It's okay. got a four inch tall windshield and a roll cage. That's, funny, that's where I bought mine out of San Fran. So, well, San Pueblo technically. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, see how bad this guy is. Alright, we gotta lower this a little bit. Yeah. They are a little haggard. Yeah, that one's you pretty can cool. See, they're torn. Yeah. And this one's not bad. No, this one's in good shape. Yeah. That left one's definitely not happy, though. No. Look at how pretty those ones are, though. Ability. As far as I know, I'm the only one that I out of my group that has these, and that's like 10 or 11 of them that is going to have these, so... because they're thicker so we can't use the, the shallow bolts that we had originally in it. No hardware? Oh, oh these yeah. are for the front mounts. Those right? are for the front. Okay. Yeah. Just want to show you guys really quick that these things are left and right specific. So we just were rushing really quick and accidentally had it up higher. I mean, you could probably see the engraving or, you know, the dust shadow on yours like I can on mine, but they do have the logo on both sides, so it might trip you up if you're doing this by yourself. Yeah, but basically the old holes that are closer together go to the outside. Yeah. You guys are close to 100K still, right? You're just like right there, right? We're 250 <laughs> away. Yeah, I'm about to hit 24 myself, so I'm, I'm close to 25, so at least for me, that's a milestone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're all milestones. It's just a crack up though. Especially if you're not chasing the, the clicks. Yeah. Like. Are these ones torn up at all, or are they just old? These are actually in good shape. <laughs> oh, this one's a little crusty. Oh, that one is crusty. Yeah, yeah this one's fine. Wait, let me 
What is this thing? We're doing the That's different That's my mounts. car. <laughs> oh, it's your... Uh, yeah, it's my S. Yeah, oh. yeah, we're just doing some, some diff mounts. Oh. It's a Yeah. Well, I do it with rear-wheel drive something. <laughs> the only shiny thing back here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, I guess other than you my could evasive do, you could do, uh, Yeah, you could do stainless exhaust and polish that if you wanted to. Well, it is stainless. It's just... I'm saying you should have to polish it. Oh, yeah. I never polished it. I just let the, the earth do my polishing. Big rods and stuff in there from the from the factories. It did not work. Right. All right, so just a little word of advice with these because the hardware is slightly different because the aluminum is, uh, you know, it's just a little bit tighter fit. So we just dropped this. There's one 12 mil bolt on the front side and it hooks in to this guy right here. It just, you know, holds it. So we're just resting the whole black box assembly just to get more direct access to it. So working pretty well. All right, all right. These things are, they're in and they're very shiny. Everything else is buttoned up. Like I said, the front one here was the only issue just because this is, you know, all in the way. Only a couple screws and that's out of the way, but yeah, looks really good. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cool. Appreci Enjoy. Yeah, appreciate you letting me come down. But uh, you got a live stream to do. So, we have a live and stream. And I got an S2000 to put back together still, so. <laughs> oh, you got to go back to work? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I got to go back to work. I was right. there till about 10 o'clock last night, so. There no rest right. for the weary. But uh, yeah, so hopefully, you know, quick little video, but. It, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was fun, you know, good mounts. Hopefully the rear end feels a little bit better now since these old ones are, you know, pretty well destroyed. If you enjoyed the video though, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, hopefully you've considered subscribing. If you want to support the channel, you know, information, Big Cartel, P.O. Box, all that in the description. Uh, anyways guys, do what you love. Forget about the rest. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace out.